Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy and thank you for tuning in. Preventing or even curing cancer are very common arguments that you will hear in favor of the vegan diet. And that would make sense, as according to the CDC, cancer is ranked as the second leading cause of death after heart disease, at least in the U.S., having claimed 595,930 lives in 2016 alone. And globally, that number was as high as 7.6 million people in 2013. And we know from a large, thorough 2015 meta-analysis performed by the International Agency for Research on Cancer that red meat is a probable group 2A carcinogen to humans and processed meats are officially classified as group 1 carcinogens to humans, causing colorectal cancer. Thus, it would be more accurate to say that the rise in popularity of bacon, uh, which has gone meme tier in recent years, uh, could serve as a viable form of population control. I mean, people are paying to eat themselves to death. Literally. But that shouldn't come as any shock, as many people are also willing to pay premium rates for cigarettes. Which the smoke from contains 43 known carcinogenic compounds. Don't know about the rest of you, but I consider anyone paying someone else to kill them a qualifier for the Darwin Award. Uh, whether it be the meat or tobacco industry or what have you. Uh, but dickery aside... We have research showing that high intakes of heme iron from meat may be a dietary risk factor for both esophageal and stomach cancer as well as colorectal cancer, or what I jokingly refer to as ass cancer on this channel. And heme iron is readily found in animal products like meat, fish, and poultry, but not in plant foods. Considering what we've learned, does it follow then that vegans suffer cancer less than meat eaters? And if so, how much less? Based on data from 61,647 British participants in the massive EPIC cohort study, vegans demonstrated a 19% lowered risk for all cancers compared to meat eaters. The researchers had adjusted for factors such as age, sex, smoking status, alcohol use, exercise level, a dietary quality, and BMI. Uh, I am just putting that out there before anyone tries to argue that those results were simply because vegans live healthier lifestyles on average than omnivores. People were literally clutched to any straw they possibly can in order not to change. And while 19% may not be as grand as, say, 50 or 75 or 100%, it is still significant and noteworthy. Combine that with the fact that vegans also have a documented 29% lowered risk of heart disease mortality, which, according to the CDC, is the number one killer even over cancer, as well as a 9% lowered risk of all-cause mortality and possibly greater longevity. And I'd say veganism is a comprehensive health win. Plus, according to the massive EPIC study, after adjusting for factors such as age, BMI, smoking status, amount of exercise, time of day, time since last meal, and time between blood testing, it was found that vegans also have about 7% more total testosterone and 5% more free testosterone than do meat eaters. You know, just to add some icing to that proverbial vegan cake. Anyway, let me know what you all think in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and to share it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button to keep on top of my regular updates. I also request that you take a moment to check out my products, services, and affiliate links down in the description and consider becoming a patron for as little as $2 a month while gaining exclusive access to uh, rewards equal to your chosen contribution. I truly appreciate any and all support uh, for my efforts on this channel, especially if you receive uh, benefit from what I uh, provide on a weekly basis. And a big thank you to those who are already currently showing your support. With that, I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.